Hey everybody and happy Sunday. It is time for Sunday Screening with me, Nina Soden, the redheaded author. Today we are talking about Alita Battle Angel. This was a 2019 release directed by Robert Rodriguez and written by James Cameron. Everything James Cameron touches turns to gold, so I should not have been surprised that this one would as well. All right, we've got Rosa Salazera playing Alita, Christoph Waltz playing Dr. Dyson Ito, Jennifer Connerly, we've got um, Mahershala Ali, and Kian Johnson, I think I'm saying that, maybe it's Kian, uh, maybe saying that right or wrong, I'm not sure. This is an action adventure thriller and it's about 122 minutes long. All right, let's jump right in. This is the IMDB storyline. Alita is a creation from an age of despair. Found by the mysterious Dr. Ito, while trolling for cyborg parts, Alita becomes a lethal, dangerous being. She cannot remember who she is or where she came from. But Dr. Ito, but to Dr. Ito, the truth is all too clear. She is the one being who can break the cycle of death and destruction. But to accomplish her true purpose, she must fight and kill. And that is where Alita's true significance comes to bear. She is an angel from heaven. She is an angel of death. All right. Okay, the description alone sends chills down my spine. I love it. So here's my two cents. I gave this a 4.333 star rating. For writing and story, I gave it four stars. For cinematography, I gave it five stars. For characters and acting, I gave it four stars. And then the overall, like I said, is a 4.333 rating. So let's talk about writing and story first. Again, I gave this four stars for writing and story. This movie is based on a graphic novel series by Yukito Kish Kishiro. Now, I haven't read the graphic novel, but th th so I can't really compare the movie to the graphic novel. I am just reviewing what I saw on the big screen and I personally think that James Cameron did an awesome job with the script, with the adapt adaptation. And that Robert Rodriguez, he was exactly the right director to bring this story to life. Right from the start of the film, you are just swept away in this mysterious, dangerous new world where nothing is as we know it today except for the societal struggles of classes, which are all too familiar in our daily life. Sure, they take on a completely different uh, viewpoint. They take on a completely different image than we have here today, but the struggles are still the same. The only thing I really had a problem with when it came to this storyline was the unnecessary an unrealistic romance. I didn't really believe the relationship between Alita and the local boy that falls in love with her, Hugo. Okay, with cinematography, I gave this film five stars. And I don't usually call out the cinematographer by name, but with this film, it was so much fun to watch. And the images that Bill Pope gave us were astounding. The world that he created on film was truly beautiful and the effects amazing. The motorball scenes, which is this world's uh, kind of sporting event, were insane. So basically the players go around this, uh, this racetrack with this metal ball that they have to capture. It's violent, it's fast paced, and it is so exciting. It's like roller derby meets 
basketball meets dodgeball meets mega wrestling fighting and it's insane. As a moviegoer, I was drawn right in. I was on the edge of my seat. I was captivated with every single second of it. The visuals in the world are also insane. And the fight sequences are insane. And I loved, loved, loved the strong female character. But I, I think that Alita is a character that all moviegoers can relate to and can enjoy, not just as women who like strong characters, but I think that with her physical abilities and her ability to shift from, I'm not sure who I am, to, oh my God, I have this connection to this body I've just found, to badass fighter, I think that she can be relatable and yet she could also be intriguing and different for any movie girl. Okay, characters and acting. I gave this four stars. Rosa was phenomenal as Alita. She's our lead actress playing this cyborg character of Alita and the special effects associated with her character were astounding. They were so believable and so true to life and you felt like this was her. This was her body. I was, I, I, I just astounded. I will definitely be checking out more of her films because I don't believe that I have seen her in anything and if I have, I haven't really noticed her before. So I will definitely check her out. Now, Christoph Waltz was good as Dr. Ito. I could really feel his fatherly love for Alita, you know, he lost his daughter and then he finds her and he rebuilds her and she becomes like this lost daughter to him. She becomes a replacement daughter. And you feel the love that he has for her, this fatherly love, as well as his internal struggles and the things that he's going on with, what he's doing in order to survive, in order to pay the bills, in order to get through and, and just to survive on this world, this desolate world. Okay, I am a Jennifer Conley fan, always have been. But with this film, I kind of felt like she was underutilized. There wasn't much character development for her. There wasn't a lot of backstory for her. You know that she used to be with Dr. Ito and that they lost their daughter and now they're not together anymore and she's trying to get to this world up above. And I just think that there is more they could have done with her character. Okay. Mahershala Ali was another actor in this film that I felt was a stagnant role, I guess is the best way to say it. There wasn't much to his character. He was kind of like this puppet and I felt like anybody could have played him. They didn't need him. They didn't need a name actor. Just anybody could have been that role and done the puppet role and it just wouldn't have been any different. I don't think that he added anything to it. I'm not even really sure why the character was necessary. All right, and then Hugo was played by Keon Johnson. I, I think that is how you say his name. He was Alita's love interest. And his acting actually really surprised me. Although I didn't really care for the relationship that Hugo and Alita had, I just, wasn't really feeling it. His acting really surprised me. Um, I think that he did a great job with his internal struggle. You know, he was born on this desolate earth and he's trying to get up above, much like Jennifer Connelly wants to get up there. He's trying to earn his way up there and he is so desperate and wants to get to the upper world so bad that he will literally do anything he has to do literally any, including killing off cyborgs. So when he meets Alita and he kind of falls for her, then you see this internal struggle that he's doing what he has to do to get up there and yet he's falling for a cyborg down here and he really has to battle that difference and, and is he willing to continue what he's doing or is he willing to give it up for her? 
All right, so I do have two favorite quotes in this film, and they are both by Dr. Dyson Ito. The first one is this, this is just a body. It's not good or bad. That part is up to you. This is just a body. It's not good or bad. That part is up to you. And I think that that's a really good lesson for us to learn in real life is that this is just a body. It's our shell. What we do with it, that's up to us. All right, my second quote is this. You've been given a chance to start over with a clean slate. How many of us get that? Right? How many of us do get that? A clean slate, start fresh, brand new. Not many of us, but Alita is given that in this film and it's pretty awesome to see what she does with it. All right, to sum it up, overall, I loved this film. I've seen some less than flattering reviews, I guess I could say, on um, online, but I really enjoyed it. And I think that it was a lot of fun. If you go in and you expect action, adventure, fun, and you know that it's gonna be mostly CG and you expect that and you're okay with it, you're gonna love it. I think that you'll really enjoy it. Um, I thought that it was strongly acted. I thought the writing was really good. And I really enjoyed Alita's unstoppable character. And that's what you get with her. You get this unstoppable, can't be beat, she's gonna win type of character. And if you're okay with that, then you're really gonna love this film. So have you seen Alita Battle Angel? I would love to know what you thought. Comment below and let me know if you've seen it and if you have, what you thought of it. If you haven't seen it, why not? Go out, watch it, then come back here and tell me what you thought of it. All right. That is Sunday Screening for today with me, Nina Soden, the redheaded author. I would love it if you would click like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click on that bell below so that you're always notified when I post a video. Until next time, enjoy the movies.